Hi everyone, I am going to tell you about my Plum Paper um, Homeschool Planner. I am really excited. I got to customize my cover. I got to pick just about every last detail that is on the front of this. Um, I'm really excited for the fact that it comes with this plastic covering to help protect it. And this right here, really good binding. Um, but you get to choose, pretty much you get to customize your planner from the front of it through the inside. Um, I picked this because I, I have two boys and a girl and I think it goes for all three of them because you know kids <laughs> um, and you get to pick like what shape that you want on there if you want one at all. Um, get to choose what it says. Mine says the Benson Homeschool Planner. Um, get to choose what writing it's in. And then you can pick whether you want the year at the top or not. I chose to have the year at the top. Okay. And then you open it up. I already wrote my name in there. Um, teacher Planner. And it has a website down here at the bottom. Okay. And it has the... 2018 full year layout and the 2019 full year layout and then special dates to remember and I love that they gave you this big old long space um, so you have plenty of room there and then and I like this I'm pretty sure that this is set up for the months um, this is the ideas plans and goals page and where I have three kids, I put each one their name at the top and then my ideas, plans, and goals for them. Okay, and then our year is going to start off in July, our school year. So, and you get to pick, um, you get to customize this, like where you wanted to start, and I picked July. And they all have their own front, and it kind of feels like it's got texture to it. I don't maybe not let's get the initial there and this right here it says um goal number one goal number two and goal number three but i think i might use it for child number one child number two not child number three and then it has birthdays events um things to remember and then you get two blank spots right here so you can choose what you want these two sections to be you get a notes page and then a full month layout. And what I really like is that they put the holidays in there for you. So this is July. So July 4th is Independence Day. And each month has what well, holiday is in it. So you don't. So it's there for you. And then this page right here. Or these pages. Um, you can customize these if you want. I think it's like four extra dollars to customize these pages. I can't remember. But um, without it being customized... Because I chose not to. Because I, right here, you can write in what you want. You can have it either say the subjects or whatever you want it to. But um, I have three kids, so um, what I'm thinking I might do, I wasn't entirely sure, so that's why I didn't do it. Um, have them do it. Um, is I'm gonna put Bible up here at the top line, and then my first child get these two lines, my second child these two lines, and my third child these two lines, and then put whatever they need to do on that day. Um, up here it has important this week, which I really like that. Um, this week's goals. And then you get these two columns right here. You get a checklist right here and then like notes or whatever you want right there. Um, you can also customize these in there. I chose not to because I really don't know what I would want to use those for. But um, if you don't have, if you don't customize it on there, then you have to rewrite it every week. No big deal, really. Um, I just put this tab right here. But every week is the same. This is when we're going to start school. And then next month, August, same thing. Demo page, initial. And it's set up the exact same. Goal number one, goal number two, goal number three, birthdays, events, things to remember. Okay, and then every tab has its own collar and it's got its lowercase initial there 
Okay, and then this is an add-in. I added this homeschool tab in. Okay, um, I really like it. The only thing that I have a problem with is that it's for one student only. That's it. So if you have more than one student, if you didn't want to customize it, um, you would have to get three. I think you can get three and put in there. I'm not entirely sure. Should have looked into that. But it's, they're, all these are sturdy, which I really like. Um, but if you just got one student, this is perfect. I'll figure out something, make it work for all three. But you put student name, date of birth, age, gender, grade, and then this year's goals. I really, really like this because it's not just about the teacher, it's also about the student. You get the teacher's academic goals, the teacher's personal goals, students' academic goals, and students' personal goals. So they come up with what they what they want to achieve. And then you can come you the teacher and the student can compare and see if they meet and then work on it from there. Then you have teacher's mission statement, student's mission statement. Really like that also. And then you have your notes down here. I like this right here. It's um, the curriculum resources page. And um, you put your subject, um, book or website, and then the money or how much it costs. I really like that. And you get two pages of that. Then the homeschool supplies page. Um, administrative items, brand, want, need, and how much it costed. So say I want bookmarks. Um, bookmarks, I don't really need them. I want them. So I would put the money or put bookmarks down, what brand of bookmarks, and then I would check mark I want that and then how much it cost. And then you need notebooks. So um, they also have a student items list with the brand, want, need, and cost. Student needs notebooks, so you put the notebooks, the brand of notebooks, and they need them. So you would check mark the need box and then how much it costed. Um, arts and crafts, same thing. Arts and crafts, brand, want, need, money. Miscellaneous, brand, want, need, money. So I really like, I really like that. Keep the help; it'll help keep you on track. Okay, and then attendance record. Um, I'm going to figure out how to make this work for all three of my kids. Don't know yet, but I'm going to figure it out. But you get um, the months or a year, and then the dates, and then you just go across and um, check mark when they're there, put an X if they're not, or however. Um, then you put notes. I figured that, like, say my oldest, he wasn't able to make it to school on October seventh, so I would put an X or something there, and then put. Um, Zachary wasn't able to attend be on, um, October 7th because he was sick or something of that nature down here in the notes box. And then at the end of it, you put total days present. That way you would have this on file for the turn in for the, in the portfolio. Um, this I really love. You get a reading log. Student name, school year, date, book title, author, and then how long they read that book. I really like that. Okay, and it's another reading log. So I have one for each child. Hopefully they read more than just one page, but, you know. Okay, and then extracurricular activities. I really like this. It helps you keep track of everything. Student name, school year, days of the week, the activity that they're doing on those days of the week, and then how much it's going to cost for that activity. Okay, and then you get your grading log. Um, you get six of these, I think. Yes, six of these. So, um, I figured one page for each child, two pages for each child. So this would be my oldest. So I put Zachary. Um, and then what I'm going to just mark out subject and put grade that he's in. He'll be in um, third grade, you could say. And then um, the date. The assignment, and then I'm going to put like an abbreviation right here. Like if it's history, I'm going to put an H. Health will be HL or something like that. And then the points earned on that assignment, points possible on that assignment, and then what grade he got. 
So, these two pages would be his. These two pages would be my daughter's. And then these two pages would be my youngest. He's in preschool, so not really going to put much work into grading anything. And then field trip log. I love this. Okay, because you can plan out your field trips and then or places that you would like to go and stuff like that. And then um, you have all the contacts information on one page and all that. But you put your location, the cost of that place, the address, date, time, contact, um, the, the website, and also the telephone number. So you get two pages of this. Or, yeah, two pages. I, I really like that. And then right here, thinking ahead, um, this would be for like the 2019-2020 year. Um, the Pacific Measurable, Achievable, re Relevant, and Timely. Next year's goals. You've got your professional goals, your organizational goals, planning goals, um, professional goals, curriculum ideas, and field trip ideas. Uh, so you can start planning out your 2019-2020 year. And then we have checklists right here. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to use this for, but you get plenty. And when I say plenty, I will show you what I mean. You get all of this checklist. Um, I think I might try to use this for attendance. I'm not really sure how it would work, but I fi I'll figure something out with this. And then um, you get notes. And this part I really like. I'm going to show you how many note pages you get. And sturdy, sturdy. Really like that. Okay, you get all. Hold on, let me get those all away. All of this right here is your notes, your note pages. Really like that. I'm a note taker. And then this right here, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to use this for. You get two pages, I think. You get this, well, this page and then this front page. It's, let's see if I can get, show you. Dotted. It's dotted paper. I don't know exactly what I'm going to use this for. I might just turn it into some more note pages. Okay, and then passwords page. You get the website, username, password. So, if there's something in, like, um, uh, your Christian, um, bookstore, um, you can write down the website, um, your username and password for that, so you, in case you go on to a different computer or something, you'd have your username and password for, um, your profile. Oh. Where well, when you order something, they already have your address in the, in that site, so, Yeah can't remember what I was trying to say. Um, my contacts, I um, more likely won't use that page. This right here, I really like. It shows you the U.S. holidays for the next, um, for 2018, 2019, 2020. It lays out the holidays and what what month and date that they are for each. It's something I found interesting. I don't know if I'm the only one. Um, might make myself sound kind of um, ditzy. But... Um, some holidays are on different days, like Good Friday, March 30th of 2018, um, April 19th of 2019, and then April 10th of 2020. I did not know that they jumped around that much, okay? Let me know if I'm the only one that did not know that, or if I'm just that ditzy. But yeah, and that's not the only holiday, like Columbus Day, October 8th, October 14th, October 12th. It jumps around. And then you get your 2020 overlay at the end of it. Um, then you get this nice little folder. Very sturdy. Um, I got my um, <clears throat> NOI tucked in there. That way I have it just in case. And then um, the back side. Nice, sturdy. And then again with the plastic covering. But there is my plum paper um, planer for the 2018-2019 homeschool year. Thank you for watching. Bye.